Taylor Swift wants you to vote on her Instagram uh, page. She says that it's the presidential primary in Tennessee and 16 other states, and you should vote for the person who most represents you. Now, she, she, she didn't specifically endorse Biden or Trump you know, or, or any political party, but we know from her previous statements that she votes for the Democrats a, a lot. Um, in her Miss Americana movie, she stated that she regretted not publicly coming out and supporting Trump and supporting Hillary Clinton, rather, when she was running against Trump. Um, yeah, her, her politics are basically she's pro-choice, you know, pro-gay, you know, she wants uh, you know, e equal pay for equal work and for there to be laws against stalking. I mean, I mean, I understand all of that stuff. That's okay. Um, most people do support that in America. You know, I, I'm a Republican and, you know, I'm worried that you know, because the Republicans, you know, are, are embracing you know, some rather extreme characters, they, they might lose elections in the future. I, I think that the Republican Party you know, is in big trouble. You know, and, you know, by the way, I am going to get political on, on this channel. You know, I want to be controversial. But, you know, I, I think that Taylor Swift, you know, runs, you know, the risk of being called a hypocrite, um, She's very rich. She may she charges twenty thousand dollars per ticket to see to have good seats at her concerts. Um, she doesn't let other artists use her music in the background of their commercials or songs. You know, so she's somebody who believes in copyright capitalism. You know, meaning you you write a song and you, you file copyrights and you make it so that you're the only one that could use the song in order for you to make the maximum amount of money off of it. So like, let's say, um, they want to put, you know, the song, you know, bad blood in a scream movie, you know, to be for some comic relief, you know, Taylor will prevent, you know, them from using bad blood in, in the background of their Scream movie, you know, um, and I think that that's bad for, you know, art and society. You know, I, I think that we need to work on expanding the fair use doctrine, you know, so that people aren't constantly having their, uh, you know, YouTube and TikTok accounts, you know, exploded, you know, over copyright claims, but I mean that that's a sentiment that a lot of people think. I mean, I'm I'm not sure exactly how you know fair use works when it comes to songs, but you know, I, I understand that like unless you have, you know, versions of uh in, unless you use big music like you know, Taylor Swift or Adele you know, in a way that YouTube or TikTok explicitly approves, you're going to get your have your account exploded, you know, through copyright violations. But despite the fact that Taylor Swift, um, you know, votes endorsed Hillary Clinton, you know, from her Netflix movie, you could see that she actually has a lot in common with Donald Trump because um, if you look at the totality of her political statement, you know, it, it, the most common you know, political statement that you could find from Taylor Swift on social media is when she attacks Marsha Blackburn. But, you know, she also uh, stated that she loved uh, the then Dixie Chicks. Um, you know, the, the Dixie Chicks were known for complaining about going to war in Iraq in the aftermath of 9-11. And that might have been a good or a bad idea. You know, I, I'm not going to... Uh, adjudicate the, the war in Iraq, you know, during this broadcast, but Donald Trump probably wouldn't 
have gone into Iraq after 9-11. Um, a lot of conservatives like Pat Buchanan um, and um, yeah, th there were, despite the fact that most Rep Republicans supported the war in Iraq, many of them didn't. And yeah, Donald Trump is one of them. So it's like what, when you see Taylor Swift saying that she uh, is repulsed by Donald Trump, you know, you should remind her that, you know, in, you, you should remind her that she supported the Dixie Chicks and the Dixie Chicks had more in common with Donald Trump on the Iraq war issue uh, than George Bush did. So, you know, I, I would like to see the clip of uh, Miss Americana wherein she uh, supported, where, wherein Taylor Swift proclaimed her support for the Dixie Chicks, you know, be made more readily available on the internet. You know, I think if, uh, you, given that Taylor Swift didn't support the war in Iraq, it's possible to say that she has a lot in common with Donald Trump politically. Now, po political divisions are difficult to determine. Um, it, it's these we live in an age where it's difficult to define what what is a Democrat or what is a Republican. It, it's it's not possible to divide the country into halves politically, in my opinion. You know, the two party system has it has advantages and disadvantages. You know, I think the country is like a pizza pie. It has to be divided into like tenths or at least eighths. Um, but yeah, Taylor Swift wants you to vote and she's not endorsing a, a, any specific candidate this time, or, or at least in that Instagram post. You know, she's saying that you 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 should go to vote.org you know, to find out where to vote on Super Tuesday. All right, thank you.